I'm traveling this week for the holidays, going back to visit my family back in Alabama, but I wanted to be a part of this service and just wanted to let you know that I am so thankful this year for this congregation, for you guys. I uh, am so grateful for the way that you have loved me and loved my family and have given me the opportunity to uh, be able to express myself through the preaching of God's word. And I just want to get say personally, thank you so much for uh, having trust and confidence in me and uh, allowing me to uh, serve you. So thank you. I am thankful for Mary Ashby, who's always been such a sweet picture of Christ and is so loving all the time. Hello, my name is Lori Van Curen. Uh, my husband Jeff and I are not members of Hideaway Church, but this past year we are very grateful for this uh, body of believers. Um, we, this past year we went through one of the strongest uh, hurricanes on record in the Atlantic, and Hideaway Church became a shelter in the storm for us and this body of believers took care of us and was our refuge in the storm. Uh, my husband wound up with a hernia and we lost a roof and all kinds of things happened and this body of believers took care of us um, spiritually and in, in every all different ways. Happy Thanksgiving and we're very thankful for the hideaway uh, body of believers. Thank you. Hey, it's the Taylors. We just want to say thank you so much for praying over us this past year and for us. And thank you for letting God show his love um, through all of you. So, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for my parents, my 84-year-old mother and my 89-year-old daddy who introduced me to Jesus a long time ago and continue to love me through him. Good morning. Last summer, God called me to be a teacher of Sunday school there at the church. And I accepted and I knew that in the back of my mind, I needed somebody to help me for it to be a success. I was telling a dear friend that I had accepted this and I was excited about it. I did not tell her that I needed someone. And she immediately said, I want to help you with this. And I said, oh no, well, I thought you are too busy. And later again, she said, I really want to help you with this. And I realized at that point that God had provided through her obedience, someone that I needed that would help the Sunday school class be a success. So I would like to say thank you to Eugenia Del Pinal and praises to God for fulfilling the need. Thank you and happy Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for my sweet friend, Betty Dixon. She is such an encourager to me and truly has the love of Jesus in her heart and shares that with me. And I'm so blessed to call her my friend. I am thankful for my wife, Bonnie. When we first met, in many ways, we were totally opposites. She was outgoing and friendly, whereas I was introverted and shy. However, God molded us through the miracle of marriage into one flesh. If you want to know Bonnie, you have to go no farther than Proverbs 31. The verses describe Bonnie as the wife of noble character. I know of no higher honor that can be given to a woman than to be called a good wife and good mother. I am thankful. 